Hi! During this week, there were a lot of features added and it was actually a very busy week. So let's go and let's start with what it is. So first of all, what you can see is it's much faster. How much faster? I mean, the rendering speed is the same. Simulating speed is almost the same. However, now I've changed some OpenGL stuffy stuff and some other things and it went on default settings for me from 28 FPS in JFlow version 24 to 130 FPS in JFlow number 3. Yeah, 20. 25 and it was the third version I've actually showed. So what are the changes? So first of all, if you want to open the project, you don't have to write the path, but you can click on it. Isn't that great? So next. Uh, as you saw in previous films, not films, videos, actually videos, if you wanted to have, if you added, for example, some keyframes here, 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 etc., and they were not ideally aligned, like, for example, now, then you could not edit them. Now, now you sh should be able to edit them or but you have to be in the keyframe that is almost the same and it does not work. Oh no, it... Does it work? Or not? Oh, something is bugged. I try to fix it. Alright, let's disalign them. And now... Yeah, 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 yeah. You can edit it. As you can see, and it will align automatically. However, here you cannot do this because for now in the animation system, if you want to add a keyframe, you need to add a keyframe for X, Y and Z, Z at the same time. And there must be keyframes at Y, X and Z at the same time to actually edit them. So I will change that in the next version, hopefully. But yeah, for now it is what it is. So, <clears throat> when we are in the pose, pause mode, let's see some another huge change. And it is that when you pause, you can actually move the viewport, rotate the viewport, and see some stuff changing. So yeah, I think this is quite a huge change because it allows for better previewing the current frame. So now, when we play that, there is also another thing. So let's bring those settings up and we'll see another huge improvement. And it is that if you want to edit some keyframes, it is smooth. It is smooth. It is smooth. So previously, GUI and I mean the user interface and the simulations were on the same thread. 
So, if you opened a very heavy simulation scene, then you've got, for example, one FPS on the user interface, and it was shit. So, I've changed that. Now there are on separate traps, and it was a very <laughs> difficult task actually. But now it works, and hopefully there are, I'm testing it for a while, and there are no problems, so this is next big improvement. Next, uh, next, uh, the next big thing is uh, that Let's delete it. You can add objects. So for example, now it's still not the latest. Please work, please work. Shit. Alright. So I fixed the bug. It was actually a very stupid mistake. I mean, just two threads wanted to concur over loading the using the GPU and uh, to be honest <laughs> when it was slower the bug does not exist but when it is that fast the bug occurs so now when we add an object let's add this is n and we've got this is n So because it is path traced, or ray traced actually, it does not look perfect, but yeah. So as you can see, let's crank the number of iterations up. As you can see, we've got some collisions. So for now, OBJ loading is very initial, like collision system is actually okay. However, the objects with objects, you can only move it up, down, left, right. I mean, let's move it. Yeah, like left, right. And it's actually all of all you can do you cannot change the size why because <laughs> for now there were some technical problems with changing the size and it would be slow so i'm working on a fix and hopefully in the future version it will be done oh and if you want get it selected you can change it to be an emitter. So now instead of being a boring Suzanne, it burns. It burns like crazy. So yeah, we're changing the size, I have to do something. But yeah, it can be either an emitter or a collision object. Alright, so what's next? Now, if you want to reload the scene, it's like... Let's add something better. So if you don't change the domain size, it's like instant. If you change the domain size, it's also instant. Because I've change some things when the reload happens so it is actually now much faster all right so as you could see there it was the object rendering oh and if you want let's add this um, one more time mm, you actually can display the Susan or in render settings you can disable collision rendering, so you can debug how the how it looks. So yeah, that's this. Oh, and now it uses CUDA 11.3, 
So you will have to upgrade your driver. <coughs> but because of the CUDA 11.3 it's much more stable and a little bit faster. So what's next? Uh, yeah, it is faster. Oh, and because of some help from the community, we can change the themes to make it look better or worse. I mean, you have the options. Also, the interface scaling is a little bit better. What's next? If you want to save the project, you've got an entire file browser. Uh, yeah, what's next? Uh, settings in properties panel are grouped so it is much cleaner for the new users uh, now there is a better background color which is gray to better see the windows etc uh, if you want to compile the code yourself and you want to do it because of reasons in debug mode. Now it works. Uh, window of JFlow maximizes at the start of the program. There is simplified default scene. Scrolling over UI. So if you want to scroll here, it does not affect the viewport except the viewport window and the other things, but if you want to scroll anywhere else, it does not affect the viewport. Uh, there are updated default settings. Uh, viewport now is a floating window, so you can resize it. You can change the position of it, so it's much more flexible. Now you can if you want to export your VDB scenes, now you can choose between non, BLOSK or zip compression and you can save it as full or half. You can change how much the sparse cutoff is. And now if you export, it is about two times faster. And for now there should be no glitches. And if you are using Windows 7, you should change from BLOSK to ZIP compression. And now it utilizes uh, your entire CPU. So what's next? Now you can sync the timeline options with uh, time with uh, viewport time or not so it is much simpler now there's some G mm, cleanup in the GUI so for example now the frame number and FPS and reset and pose is in the timeline anim animation window and there are also a lot of internal changes and some other little things which I don't remember. So yeah, I think that's all. So thank you for using JFlow, thank you for watching and have a nice day. Peace.